everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a i do my makeup badly to see how my boyfriend reacts video video ah, i'm muttering my words because i'm nervous i'm not very good at things like this i'm not a good actor i keep looking out the window because i know that he's in the garage at the moment working on our camper van so this is a good setup really because i can peek out the window to see if he's coming back in. I said that I would be up here filming a Q&A and I would really like it if he could come in for like the last sort of section just to answer a few like couples questions. So he knows that I'm going to be up here chatting on the camera, he knows that I'm going to be up here sort of like getting ready. I think it's going to be really interesting just to see how he reacts and I really really hope that he actually notices. Because if he would let me go out with the makeup that I'm about to do, I'd be fuming. <laughs> the thing is, he's actually quite nicely observant of like what I look like. So I th feel like he might just come in and notice straight away. So I don't want to do it like too badly that he's like, what are you even doing? I don't want to do it like obviously just my normal way. Oh, is it coming? I hope the neighbour doesn't look out because it just looks as if I'm like peeking constantly into their house. That's our garage there, so that's what I'm looking out for Mark. So that's our camper van and then obviously that's next door's back door. I don't want him to think that I'm just like walking into his house weirdly. <laughs> right, let's take these off. So I am going to moisturise. I can't not moisturise. Good bit of that on. Because also we're going to, um, oh, I'll just put that on my nose. Nice. Um, we're also tonight with his family going to be doing a pub quiz over Skype. So I've told him that I'll be up here getting ready. I'm flapping, aren't I? I'm flapping way too much. It's not even a big deal. Just doing my makeup badly. Oh, I absolutely love this stuff, by the way. If you want like a super moisturising my god I hear a bang and I'm like what is that yeah what actually is that the dogs are asleep probably just mark in the garage yeah if you do want like a super moisturising a super moisturising moisturiser um, that makes your skin just feel beautiful then this is the Kills ultra face cream so it's this one and I got the one with the SPF in as well because I really like wearing SPF every day. So now I normally mix this. I've got a new foundation coming tomorrow. I'm trying out the NARS one. I did a big cult beauty order the other day. So this is the Estelle order double wear. Now when I first used this I was absolutely like in love with it. And I was like oh my goodness I'm never going to use another foundation. But now I'm just a bit like... Mm, it's really nice like if you're going out and it, your makeup only needs to last like through the night however if you want to wear it like all day it's really not like the best um it kind of like crumples like up onto your face quite a lot but like i say for evening wear it's beautiful like i would still wear it i don't know if i want to blend this in like fully properly like do i just leave that like i can't leave that feel my nose because it tickles like, do I just leave, like, botches like that? Maybe, like, I blend it in a little bit so it's not too obvious. But this at the moment, obviously, it's like... Oh, actually, it's not matching my neck quite all right. Ah! I'm going to have to put another layer on. But anyway, let me know if you want me to do a video that sort of, like, unboxing all my cult beauty stuff that I get. Because um, I've got a few products coming that I've never tried before. So I thought it might be quite interesting to unbox them with you and maybe test them out with you. It's probably products that you've tried before. However, if you haven't, then it might be a good video for you. That actually looks really orange. It's not actually picking up that too orange, Ooh, too orange on camera. But yeah, that is orange. Which I actually secretly quite like. <laughs> Put a bit more on. Oh, oh no, don't tell me we've run out. Okay, it's fine, we've got a bit more. I might ring him and just say that my q and is going on for like a bit longer than what I thought. 
so if we could stay out in the garage for just like another 20 minutes just so i can get this looking <laughs> really bad maybe we'll go for the foundation lip used to do that at school i used to love a foundation lip like why did anybody like this i don't get it don't get it yeah nice that is looking brilliantly bad love it hi bye um do you mind maybe just not coming in just yet because i'm still doing my q a video <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if you could give me like another sort of like maybe 20 minutes i'll be great yes right then i've got another half an hour to do my terrible makeup so that's fine i can chill out now stop blending i don't want it to be blended right then i think i'm gonna go try and get these under eyes as bright as possible get that loaded up and then oh should i like i'm gonna end up looking like mulan this is actually i really love this concealer it's the maybelline fit me conceal oh my goodness i thought that was incoming in then and it was a lorry driving past what is this doing to me i need to calm down now i actually really really like this one i do normally use it like every day well not every day because i don't wear makeup every day but every time i use makeup i normally use that one and what i've noticed that if you leave it for like a few minutes then it will just set down so normally during this time i do my eyebrows then come back to it because if you do it straight away it just kind of like smudges your foundation and just like makes it all blotchy which is perfect because we want a blotchy face okay that is actually i've dragged those right down which is something that i wouldn't normally do and it's all like i don't know if you can see very well it's all very like quite blotchy it's not picking up on camera but like this here it's just all like blotchy foundation bubbles like it's really not gone into the skin it's just sat on top not looking very nice at all and now i've kind of just got like a concealer like circle here on top of my head let's get some heavy bronzer on i absolutely love this bronzer it's the benefit hula one and literally you cannot go wrong with it i feel actually really bad for these like makeup products because obviously i'm just trying to make them look really really bad and obviously they're not actually bad i'm just putting them on not great at all that's looking nice and dirty oh yeah it's getting right down to my mouth why is the camera not making it look as bad as to what it actually is in real life that's not okay you can kind of see there my little concealer blob on my head and then just my nice big Oh yeah, look at that. Makeup technique. Also, I'm really, really sorry. If this is how you do your makeup, if you do really like the sprodgy, unblended, ridiculously dark, all the way to your mouth bronzer look, I really apologise because I don't actually mean to offend anybody when I do this video. This is just how I do not do my makeup. And it's just to see Mark's reaction. So... Please don't be offended or upset. Thank you. Do I just go in with black? So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked palette. This is like really old now. I think Mark got this for me like three years ago. This is all the tones I would just always really use. Just, I just normally use like a really light brown just all over the lid. It's like my transition colour but I'm thinking, yeah, this is meant to be bad, isn't it? Okay. Okay, that's a bit different to what I normally do. I'm gonna go in with this. Should I zoom you in just so you can see it? Ready? I'm just not gonna. Should I just dab it on? Just like. That's a bit obvious, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's great. That's lovely and dark. Beautiful. Right, let's just do the other eye quickly. Okay, so. I'm not gonna lie, I just had a fiddle around with the darker colours then on my other eye before I did it like bad. And I'm actually digging the darker look. So I'm actually going to try and do it next time really nicely. Because I'm actually... I didn't think I suited dark eyeshadow makeup. But I'm actually quite enjoying it. However, I've taken it off and done it on horribly. So as you can see here, it's smudged up my face. I've had like fallout under my eyes that I'm not going to sort out. And this is like smudged all up here. And blending top quality um i never wear eyeliner simply because i can't do it <laughs> so 
I'm gonna put some of that on now as well and you can watch me fail at this. Okay, cool. So I've got some beautiful wings. Looking good. Whoa, wrong way. Right, I'm just gonna leave my eyebrows as that. I really don't want him to come and be like, what have you done with your face? Okay, done. I don't want it to be too obvious. I want him to actually believe that this is how I've tried to do my makeup. What next? Blush. I always put like a bit of blush on because I really like like the rosy cheek sort of effect. But let's go in crazy. It's really annoying the way that the camera doesn't actually pick up like half of what I've got on my face. It must be the lighting. The camera's just making it look a lot nicer than what it actually is. I promise you, this is not how it would normally look. Sunburnt cheek effect. Let's just get it all over the face. Oh. I might put like a line of bronzer or something under here just to make it look even more unblended. Let's get some big lashes on. Wouldn't ever normally wear a pair like this. They're just way too big for me because they just take up my whole face basically. Um, I'm not going to bother cutting them. They are really nice lashes for somebody who's got like just like a bigger gap here. So they're, um, you cannot see them there at all, can you? Can you see what I mean by how big they are? That literally, <laughs> there probably wasn't actually at any point in me putting that eyeshadow on because all you can see is my eyelashes. Look at them. A nice bit of lip, overdrawn that, nice. And then, let's just put a bit on my tooth. <laughs> Perfect, so now all I've got to do is just sit here and wait for Mark to come in. Can I even fit my glasses over the top of these eyelashes? Oh my goodness, I can't. But they just keep on getting caught on my glasses. They're like, ugh. Just put a bit of black on while I'm waiting. Make that a bit darker. I'm getting a bit worried. The more that I look at this in the camera, the more that I'm starting to like it. Is that all right? But then I look in the mirror and I'm like, ugh. Cameras are good. I think I'm gonna have to pretend that my phone's died because I haven't actually asked Instagram for any questions. And that's what we did on our show, I'll say it, so he's probably going to be expecting to see that again. He's coming. Here he is. Hey. Hey, Bubba. You ready? <laughs> you got stuff on your teeth. <laughs> I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't all the time. Oh, no! Bless Carlton a day, aren't we? <laughs> Why did you go like that? I didn't realise you had full face on. <sighs> Well, Daddy, I see myself in five years. Um, <laughs> just walking around the park, you know, and uh, having a real good time. I can't believe your reaction to my full face was rather than, oh, you look really nice. You do look beautiful. Rachel! I feel like the dogs are getting more attention than me. Why do you think I'm beautiful? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Aww. Are we putting that in? You think this looks beautiful? You do. You always look beautiful, Rachel. Even these lashes? Yeah, they're very, uh, uh, no, that's a bit too big. What about my eyeshadow? Am no, I? I like that. You like my eyeshadow? Yeah. What, the black? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like my lip liner? Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why? Because it's not even on my lips. It's like down here and underneath my lips. Yeah, that's a bit funny now, isn't it? Let me point it out. But you would let me go out of the house like this? I'm not sure. What, the fact that my eyeshadow is like halfway up my eye? I don't know, I don't know what's happening, Boo. I feel like you've done some joke makeup to wind me up. I don't know what's going on. I just wanted just want to give you a compliment. Well, that was a big fat fail. We're not doing a Q&A, Boo. I did my makeup badly to see how you'd react. And you told me I look beautiful. I always tell you you look beautiful. Yeah, but even when that's not true. Yeah. Mark, you can't tell me when I look beautiful, even when it's not true. You wouldn't let me go out of the house looking like this. If you felt confident, yeah. I mean, that's lovely in the way that you think that if I feel confident, then you do you and all that. But, and stuff on my tooth. 
my eyeshadow is like halfway up my face, all smudged. That that eyeliner, look at that. Right. And that's all right. What's it meant to look like? Well, not all smudged like down my face. So look at the other side. Oh, you haven't got off like on that side, have you? No, I've done it all wrong. The amount of bronzer that I've got. Yeah, but people do that. That's Kylie Jenner's trick. It's not even around my lips. I can't believe you let me go out looking like this, babe. The amount of bronzer maybe that I've got. Maybe it's the light, maybe if I look from this side. Yeah. You don't look that bad. You don't look that bad. You don't look that bad. <laughs> have I not done it bad enough? No, I don't think you have. I think oh, you should have gone more no. shocking. Well, I thought that if I made it too obvious, then you'd be like, what are you doing? You didn't make it, you didn't get that. I didn't get that happy medium. Yeah, that's the one, the happy medium. Well, I thought I would have done with the lips and the stuff on my teeth. I picked up on the stuff in your teeth, Yeah, I? you did. Yeah, and this tan as well. Ugh. Well, that's I hope you enjoyed yeah. that video. <laughs> that was the biggest fail ever. <laughs> Mark could let me go out of the house looking like this. It's because I love you. Oh, baby. <laughs> Might stand a bit away from you, but support you. You'd stand away from me, but support me. I don't think that's being supportive by standing away from me. Well, I tried it. I'm sorry that that was a massive fail. But if you do want to see me try and attempt another prank on Mark, be sure to subscribe. No, no it's not after <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Maybe I could do like black with a red lipstick. Is that too obvious? I'm dropping everything. <laughs> nice concealer lines come in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but one day if I woke up and I suddenly thought that this makeup was nice. It's probably... You'd support me. Because to be fair, in the camera it doesn't actually look that bad, does it? You're just such a supportive boyfriend, aren't you? I know. What's going on? Where's up and death? Just <laughs> <laughs> Oh!